Hello everyone and welcome back to Reactions, where I talk about a couple of things and it's usually movies and again it's movies because I love movies. I'm still working my way through a bunch that my buddy Charles gave me. This time I'm going to be talking about, oh, with non-spoiler by the way, no spoilers, uh, I'm going to be talking about Cabin Boy and, what the fuck was the other one? Night Watch. So Cabin Boy is a film about a a, a super snotty child of a wealthy guy doesn't respect anybody else he treats everybody like they're below him because he's just born with a silver spoon up his ass kind of thing and he basically gets thrown off into the real world after talking down to to the wrong person who just kind of like leaves him hanging and you know he, he, he's supposed to be getting on this big fancy cruise ship kind of thing to go to Hawaii, but they they end up sending him out on like a little like a fishing boat with a bunch of dirty sea talking seamen, a bunch of dirty seamen, and of course they all hate him and he's a prick to them and they end up just treating him like shit, throwing things at him, just making him like clean up the the clean the deck with his with his tongue and you know make him dance while they're drinking and throw shit at him and he ends up tricking one of the dumber sailor guys into uh, thinking he's going to a place that they're supposed to be going, but really it's Hawaii. But he did it the wrong way, so they end up in, like, no man's land. They call it, like, the uh, devil's bucket or something like that. And it, it's sort of like the Bermuda Triangle kind of thing. So there's, like, m magical, mystical creatures. You don't know what you're going to find there. I saw this once when I was younger, and I always thought it was kind of odd. I, I remember it being a little bit more, like, whimsical and kind of magical, and kind of cheesy because once they get to the devil's bucket you notice that the like the the mast head I don't even know if that's the word but like the 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 carving of the woman on the boat the front of their boat it like sort of opens its eyes and kind of comes to life and there's like ice monsters like these big icebergs turn into like stop motion creatures and kind of attack them and they have to find a way to defeat the ice monsters and and there's like a, a half human half shark creature uh, <laughs> whatever. It's completely ridiculous. I'm not going to tell you all the, the goofy shit that happens, but uh, everybody hates the guy. Uh, he sort of starts losing his mind because uh, they, like, leave him out at sea on, like, a raft for, like, a week or something, and he, he goes crazy. Uh, and, then all, and then he ends up, like, being really friendly to all of them because he's kind of lost his mind. Uh, anyway... It's about him learning to not be such a prick. Lots of cheesy, whimsical, magical kind of stuff. I would recommend it if you don't mind some... Uh, I mean, it's, some of the sets don't look real. You don't really... You don't believe some of the backgrounds they're putting in there. But it's so cheesy, it's kind of charming. You don't even really notice it or care about it all that much. Because really, you're just there for, you know... It's a, it's like a cartoon. It's kind of, it's just goofy and silly. I would recommend it if you don't mind goofy, silly, cheesy, you know, a little bit of an older movie, probably 90s-ish, maybe early 2000s. I would think it was more of a, like a mid-90s, maybe late 90s kind of thing. Anyway, I thought it was fun. It was a fun watch once again. Now I want to talk about Night Watch. I had also seen this one before many years ago. I didn't remember a whole lot about it, and I remember now why I didn't remember a whole lot about it. It's because it's... It's an odd mix of a whole bunch of different stuff. It's very cool, very stylish. Uh, it's also Russian, and it's dubbed in English. And maybe that threw me off a tiny bit, that it was dubbed. But it also, it's not like super high production. Like, they didn't spend, you know, Hollywood money kind of thing on this. But it looks really good for what it is. It's, it's stylish. It's slick. The, the, you know, there, there's CG stuff in it that, like, looks pretty real. There's a lot of supernatural crap. It's about this uh, guy that has an encounter with some the, the dark side of, of, the, of the world. There's a dark side and a light side. There's a night watch and a day watch. And, like, only certain people can see what the night watch or, you know, the, the, the dark side people are doing. And there's, there's creatures. There's all different kinds of shit. It's, it's like witches and shapeshifters and uh, fucking little baby dolls with spider legs and all kind of demon shit and whatever. This witch gives this guy the ability to see the the dark side shit, and so he then is asked to work for the the night watch, which are the people that you know 
take care of the balance or whatever. I'm not. I know I'm not describing this very well. It's it's Men in Black meets Blade meets Hellboy meets The Matrix. It's a whole lot of of stuff. It's very stylish, very artistic. It looks pretty good. Uh, you know, action stuff, CG stuff. Every everybody seems to be acting well and. Uh, everything's pretty good. I, I still don't really love it, but it's pretty cool and it's worth a watch. I will say that. So anyway, thanks for giving me some movies again, Charles, buddy. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hearing me talk about these things. Maybe you've seen them. Maybe you can uh, let me know in the comments if you if you have or what you think. Yeah, so anyway, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.